We are often asked what's the most effective way to get rid of mosquitoes. The most important thing is to stop breeding. And do you have a pond or any container with stagnant water in the area? If yes, you must necessarily, do you hear me? Necessarily stop with placing uh, mosquito dunk pellets there. The thing is that mosquitoes adore laying eggs in stagnant water. This is essentially the first step. Only then apply other solutions. Going outdoors? Spray yourself with repellents. Treat clothes with Sawyer, as the U.S. Army does. Its active ingredient is permethrin. Uh, it has a long-lasting effect up to six weeks or six washings. Do you live in Alaska or places with uh, scores of swamps? Then buy pr uh, propane traps or use foggers. They are good for treating large areas. Very powerful and effective, but can be applied outdoors only. If you don't have to face hordes of mosquitoes, it's possible to make do with something cheaper and simpler. Try an H2O trap with a special tray of water. In this case, water first attracts mosquitoes and then they die there. Such devices are successful in both inside and outside the house. Now, what are the most recommended solutions to apply indoors? Certainly, there's swatters and zappers and wait. I don't mean traditional swatters. The world is moving on and technologies are developing. An electronic racket will help you kill more mosquitoes with less effort. And that's not all. Are you tired or too lazy? Use the rocket as a bug zapper. <laughs> you just place it on the flat surface and let the device do the job. As for bug zappers, there's a lot of them on the market. Small, portable, floor standing, or huge devices. The right choice of a bug zapper depends on many factors. Do you need uh, protection during outdoor activities? Are you or thinking about how to keep your baby have a peaceful sleep in the crib? Maybe you're fed up with the bites when uh, taking a rest on the porch. All this influences your choice. To figure out what solution is the most suitable for you, read our review. It's based on opinions of scientists and recent scientific research results. Sincerely yours, Old Man Steve and StopPestInfo.com.